Kevin, we talked about in previous discussion that companies are uh, struggling to find good talent, either hourly or salary. And we also know that whenever we post any job requisition, we're getting 100 or 200 resumes and we need to scan, see who is the right candidate for us. So in terms of the job seekers, how can they differentiate themselves when there's a lot of people applying for the same job? How do I differentiate the job itself? How they, the job seekers differentiate themselves. This is, this is a hard one, right? Because when you think about the sheer volume of people for any given job that are applying, yes. um, un unfortunately, the reality is that m many of them are just not qualified for that role. I think that if you take out those people who are constantly applying for jobs, they're never going to be qualified for. Take those out and focus on the job seekers who feel like they might have a shot. Like, I got something. I, th I, I could do this. I could do this work. They've got to be able to to make that case, um, and 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 a lot of them aren't going to get of opportunity to do that at the point of application. Um, so the reality is that they you need to really understand the not only the the job that you're interested in, but the organization that you're interested in too. And you don't you know, when you're applying online, you don't really interact with humans, you're not going to really have a shot with that. So but self select that if you are looking at a job, and you're like, that's kind of a stretch. Mm. But then maybe, you know, don't put your hat on the ring, because the odds of you getting a call are pretty slim. Yeah. But you know, there are more companies, though, with cultures that are more that are focused on hiring for potential, mm -hmm. that maybe you do have some of the skill set or even you know little maybe a little experience but this is a job that we can we can skill you up on again going back to that learning and development culture yeah. of an organization knowing that if they're in it for the long term even though tenure for employees is, is less than it's ever been yeah. if i'm if, if i'm willing to help invest in you and i see that potential then maybe that you have but you've got then maybe you get a shot but make sure that you're applying for jobs that you that you do have some qualifications for. So I mean, there's an alignment between you and the company. Yeah, you gotta, yeah. yeah, and not just the job, but well, in the business too. But because yeah. you just make sure because don't uh, you again? It's that whole don't do the spray and pray, pray approach. I know some people that are looking for a job; they're going to apply for 15, 20 different jobs. Be more, you know. Again, it's going to depend on the role and the and the where you're at in your career, but be more selective about what you're applying for and make sure that you've got something maybe that you might get the attention of the recruiter of the of the automated screening system yeah. too of to getting into that next role but self-select out of those that you're just not qualified for yeah, you mentioned about applicant tracking system sometimes yeah. i feel that it's like a double source so it helps the recruiters and the company you know to screen candidates at the same time, from the job seekers perspective, if they don't have those keywords, they will not be selected. So do you think that when a job seeker reads a job description, they should use the same word so that applicant tracking system will put them on the top of the list or it all depends? Yeah, it, it, it depends. And you just, you, you're not going to win trying to game the technology. It's just, you know, maybe sure that you're going to put the keywords that, you know, you might get selected for, but again, if you're not qualified for the job, I just, I wouldn't apply for it at all. Unless the job is clear saying, listen, we will, you know, we will train right? Mm -hmm. The individuals to do this kind of work, don't do it then. Because you're not going to, today, the, the, the machine learning and the, the artificial intelligence that's now starting to be built into many of our, of our recruiting and HR technologies today and are now actually out there working, you're not going to beat them yeah. as, as, as a human. So again, I go back to make sure that it's you're you're applying for relevant jobs that you have some qualifications for, mm -hmm. but you're not going to be able to game it. Yes. And the other side of that, though, I think always try to network in, even those are early on in their careers, you might not have a lot of connections, but try to find somebody that, that you connect with that works at the company that you're interested in. Yeah. Networking is, is still very powerful, even in the virtual world. So um, whether that's on LinkedIn or local associations or 
chamber of commerce, whatever, whatever that is, yeah. networking is, imp is important for you. And sometimes when you do connect with the right people, the, you won't get lost in just applying. I totally agree with you. Networking is very important. Again, thank you for those insights, Kevin. And tune in next time for my final question with Kevin. Thank you.